Hi guys and welcome to part 9 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On the last part we created our two first models and we learned how Entity Framework would understand the relationship between them and on this part we are going to create our repository interfaces. We would like to manage our drinks and categories through a repository. So we will create the repository interfaces for the category and drink model. Since they are interfaces we will have to create another folder inside the data folder and we will call that folder interfaces. So let's start by creating a repository interface for the drinks folder. We could create an interface by simply adding a new class and then changing the signature or we could directly add an interface by going to new template and then interface. Since this interface is going to be for the drink model then we name the file I drink repository. .cs. The I on the I drink repository name stands for interface. Let us add all the properties for this interface. You see that this interface has two properties and one method. The first property will be used to get all drinks and the preferred drinks property will be used to get only the preferred ones and as we have already said they will be shown on the front page of the application. After we have created the drink repository interface, we create the other one for the categories. The same way we create an interface by going to add new template and then interface. We name this repository I category repository. Where as we have already said, I stands for interface. We add the properties for this interface as well. This interface is simpler than the first one since it has only one property and this property will be used to hold all categories which in our case are two, the alcoholic drinks category and the non-alcoholic ones. These are the two interfaces that we will create for now. On the next part we are going to create two dummy mocks and we will use the interfaces we have just created to define their signature. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next part.